Hello, Animal Messages with Julie. Okay, so today's topic, boots. Boots for your dog. Boots, 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 boots. All right. Uh, anybody seen these things? Yeah. Thanks. Look at their little reflective and everything. Okay, and you can see, because of the sketch pads, you can see how tiny it is, right? Here they are. Okay, so, and by the way, these were in the trash. <laughs> you found them in the trash. I found them in the trash. I went in the uh, like community area of my building and I actually thought they were Callies because I had seen these on a Papillon, which is they're like 10 pounds, 15 pounds Papillons. I had seen it on her and nope, I just visited her. She's got hers. So these are somebody else's. And I'm like, they're the exact same brand. They come in their own nifty little bag. Okay, now, cut to the chase. They don't work. <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> Which is why they were in the trash bin. Now they're like plastic, like imitation leather. They have, there's Velcro. Did you hear that? Okay, so I'm putting like here. What is get over to the white kind of the nope, go this way. The white there, you can see it. The white, so you can see two fingers fit in and look like they're reflective. And then that's supposed to, and then you can velcro it on their leg. And they're supposed to, oh no, it goes this way. And then they're supposed to walk with these on. Well, what happens is Callie still has hers, the papillon, the white papillon. Um, but she managed to get down with two of them on and two of them she had kicked loose. So she never even made it outside with hers. But, you know, what do we do? And, you know, post what you do because in the desert, the asphalt gets so hot, 110, 115 degrees. It's too hot for paw pads. Think about it. Think about you putting your bare foot on that asphalt and we have where I live we have ice so the ice is too cold for the paw pads when it gets to Fahrenheit you know 10 degrees Fahrenheit that's too cold for the paw pads so what do we do what do we do I don't know what to do these don't work that's for sure I mean they look like little bitty mittens but they do not they're not meant to walk on like if you could put them as mittens on an infant you know, and a human, but they're not going to work to walk on. They're not even bent like appropriately or anything. I mean, um, so yes, I picked them out of the trash and thought I can use these on the show. <laughs> um, good, great idea. But this particular version does not work. So if anybody's got a version that works, go great. Because here's what I would do with my papillon in the past. I had a space where he didn't have to be on a leash. So he could move faster with his paw pads over the ice and then go and then run back faster than I could walk. So we did that, but then I still would worry about maybe a car would back up into him or snow plow or, you know, there, it, it, you don't want your dog, unless they're in a fenced in area off their leash, but yet it was like, you know, what do I do? He can't stand it on his paw pads <laughs> or, you know, anyway, he never, no, a snow plow never went into him. He did cross the road once and was trying to visit with somebody cleaning their car off of snow. Um, so it was like, no, no, get back here. Um, yeah. And what they'll, even when they go pee or when they go poop, you they'll be crouched down and all of a sudden they'll let them pop like that. Cause it just hurts so bad. They're like, ay, 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 you know? Um, and that's what I did with mine. But if you don't have an area where you can let them run so they can do what they need to do to minimize the amount of ice or the amount of heat on their paw pads, what do you do? What do you guys do? You know? I don't any suggestions? Right. Mine will walk on the grass. Ah. So you're big dogs. Now we're talking, these are medium-sized dogs. They're Labradoodles. 
uh, they're used. Well, just I'm just seeing Patrick now. Um, a lot of times, his dog comes up right beside him, but we don't see the dogs. Right there's Farley. <laughs> Farley, say hello. <laughs> There, so yeah, fine. yeah. So they're a little bigger, but you know, when it, when the grass, that's right, when it gets to the grass, so that's a better idea, the grass, but we've had it in these regions and they have it in Canada where it's iced over. It's yeah. ice, there's no grass, there's ice. Um, and it's, you know, it's not the majority of the year, but you feel for your animal, plus the, the salt and there's, what is it in there? It ends in chloride something something chloride it's chemical yeah. it burns their paw pads you wouldn't want it on your bare feet no nope. trust me you get it on your bare feet and after a while you'd be like i need to wash this off if something's not right down here yeah. and by the way i i'm at home and i don't have dog urine on my feet um, <laughs> this episode last week i had dog urine on my feet because i thought i was stepping in slush when I was visiting this house of four dogs, I was not stepping in slush. I was stepping in dog pee. Mm -hmm. um, and the owners didn't want the dogs to go out mm -hmm. and get muddy and then jump on me. Mm -hmm. So Good. the dogs Good. were supposed to hold it until after my visit. Well, one or more did not hold it. So and I normally take flip-flops with me to wear inside people's houses. I take my shoes off and I put on flip-flops. And I thought, well, with four dogs in this house, one of those dogs is going to take off with one flip-flop and use it as a chew toy. Like, that's just, that's a huge possibility. <laughs> so I didn't put the flip-flops in the purse. Now I know, always put the flip-flops in the purse. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to be... There's a potential yeah. to be stepping on things. Um, and that was just my first first visit at that house. And well, it's dogs, it's life with dogs. Um, mm -hmm. So, okay. So if you're first joining us, I'm an animal communicator. I feel what they feel. I hear them and then we talk. So I do grief counseling, trauma clearing. I let you know what your dog is thinking, what they like to eat, et cetera. Um, um, I do the babysitting for the region that I can drive to, um, and I do the rest of it, um, through zoom, um, uh, everything will be down below in the website, et cetera. Uh, yeah, I had a hit on my head, which then set all this stuff in motion. Um, so, and I feel what the animal's feeling. I feel in my body. So that's helpful when they're ill. And you don't quite know what's going on. So I can tell, because they can't tell you what's going on in their body, if their arm hurts, if their head hurts, if their sinuses hurt. Um, but I can tell you, because I feel it in my own body. All right. So, the ale. and we have the peaceful pet tree, which is just a little, there's the E missing off behind me. There you go. That's actually on my refrigerator right now versus there. Um, so we have a, a, a leaf for each dog that's had trauma cleared or that has passed over. Um, God, I think there's 30 names on there so far. Yeah, so we're still working on that. Okay, that's what I have for this week. Again, your suggestions about these guys. And I wish I had a video to show you of these little dogs, of the mm -hmm. people trying to get these on the dog's feet and then trying to get them outside. Like one of these has a little bit of salt. So it's been outside. I could see a little bit of use on it, but these are not, they're not used. Look at that. They don't, they yeah. don't even get wet. They don't even make it outside on the dog's foot. Anybody that's tried this. <laughs> I guess the owners gave up with those. Yeah. Callie's didn't. Hers is still in her house. I saw them when they look exactly like this, that was in the trash nearby. So there's another little dog that had to deal with these recently. <laughs> and first so, they were on the pile to give away. Here's free if you want. There's a, there's like a free pile in the in this region. It's just a little, <laughs> you know, and they were on that pile. And then the next day they were in the trash. 
So that's when I grabbed them out. I thought, well, if nobody's going to use them, I'll bring them in. And I know why nobody's going to use them. <laughs> but because um, the, they don't the work. Only way, the only way they might work, and I don't even know about this, if they were like stockings. So they went all the way up their leg. Like a stocking. And like, a, could, like a legging, you mean? Yeah. And they like don't a, they don't have this whole Velcro closure because this isn't going to hold anything on a dog's no, it's not. leg. So I mean, if you took that took them like a legging, so went all the way up their leg, it it might help. <laughs> like a keep sock. Like a sock. Like a long like a, sock. Like, like a, a leg. long sock. It might help if you can get like a long sock that's got some sort of grippy on the bottom. Uh -huh. There's yeah. got to be something out there. I imagine these are at your common store. Yeah. Or maybe they I mean, were on Amazon. Good. You're like, oh, yeah, let's try booties. And then, yeah, yeah after no. half hour of trying to get them on your dog's feet, all four feet. Um, yeah. By the time you get the third one on, the first one is going to be off. <laughs> that's what was going on. It was described to me with Callie. Uh, she had two of them off and was trying to shake the other ones off. And she's going down the hallway, you know. She didn't even make it outside with those things on. <laughs> but at the no. same time, she has to be walked. There's no space. There's no um, fenced in yard. So she has to be on a leash to be safe. Yeah. With cars and everything. And her person can't go that fast can't like run i mean some of you are marathon runners and you can run like miss vanna white's people run marathons but there's the rest of the dog owners that aren't runners <laughs> or walkers <laughs> you know and they really need to run so they get minimal time on that ice or minimal time on that heat um yeah anyway Discussed amongst yourselves. <laughs> that is a Saturday Night Live reference. Michael Myers, 1980s, 1990s. <laughs> that okay, dis, um, coffee talk. It was yeah. called coffee talk. talk. Amongst <laughs> yeah, discussed amongst yourselves. <laughs> and some of you are like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so signing off then. Let me know what's going on, how we can help. Okay, bye.